Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces round 872 and we are at the second problem. So let's quickly see what the problem states. So the problem states that you will be given a n by m grid that is like a matrix or a table, whatever you want to consider. It has uh, n rows and m columns, okay? And you will be given a set of integers like b1, b2, b3. It can be like uh, anything 0, minus 1, 1, 2, etc. You have to arrange these numbers uh, to the grid. So what they are telling is, suppose if this is the one one cell of the column, you need to create all the possible subtables. What do you mean by a subtable is, this is a subtable, starting from one one, this is a subtable, this is also a subtable, this is a subtable, this is a subtable, like all the table that you can form from this one one. You have to arrange these numbers, form all the subtables. After finding the, after making all this, you take one subtable, take the maximum and minimum value of that subtable and find the difference. Okay. So suppose you took this table and you are taking the maximum and minimum value. Okay. And now again, you are taking this table. You have to take maximum minus minimum value, the difference. You are taking this one and find the maximum and minimum value. Okay. After taking the maximum minus minimum of all the possible subtables that are given in this table, you need to sum, you need to find the summation of all of this. That's not enough. That's not over. This summation should be maximum. That's the question. So what is the question? You have a table of n by m. They will give you a set of integers. You can just uh, pour these integers to the table. After that, from one by one, one comma one, whatever be the subtable you can form. For each subtable, take the maximum minus minimum difference value. Then take the sum of all those possible maximum minus minimum uh, differences that you got from each of the subtable. Now, if you notice one thing, the first first thing, first subtable, one comma one, right? If a number is x here, what is the maximum and minimum value here? It is always x, right? So x minus x equal to zero. So we are not going to check this table. Then uh, when we think normal brute force approach, what do we think? We generate all the subtables. Then from each subtable, uh, we check the maximum minus minimum value. We go through it, maximum minus minimum value and take the sum. That is a very, very complex task because many combination of numbers can come. This subtable construction itself is very common task. So what is something that is generalized? So if you keep on drawing, right, drawing subtables, there is one thing that is common. So in order to maximize the sum, that difference also should be maximum, right? Suppose, uh, let's say if you are taking this one and you are taking this subtable, okay, and you are taking this subtable, you see one thing common, that is, this is always coming in all subtables. And for some subtables, this will also be part of it. And this also will be part of it. Without this, subtable can't be formed. Do I make sense? Suppose if this is the table, these two are coming, these two are coming, these two are coming, these two are coming. See, whatever comes in now, these two are always coming here. And when does these two does not come? These two will come, right? One, two, and three. So all these are coming. So what is my logic? In order to make the maximize the difference, what if I tell you, I can just fix maximum value here, right? And what is the majority time minimum value can come? Whenever this stick, I can just keep minimum value here. But when minimum value is not coming, what should I keep here? I can keep the second minimum value. So irrespective of the number of subtables and uh, instead of counting each of them, if I fix it here, and I know the number of rows and number of columns, I can do some computation and just give the result. So let's understand with the help of an example first. Now, let's uh, take a bit complex example. That is uh, what they gave here, right? Let me, okay. So let's say this is the first example. Let's see for the first example, that is two rows and three columns. They gave all these numbers, that is seven, eight, nine, minus 3, 10, 8. Now, according to our logic, this is the answer, okay? According to our logic, what did we say? 
we can fix the maximum value here so let's try to do that that is maximum value is what it is 10 because this will be part of all the sub tables now where should we keep the minimum value minimum value should be kept here or minimum value should be kept here minimum can be kept anywhere because uh, it should be kept in a way that all the computations are more so suppose let's say 10 minus 3 is the minimum value right you keep minus 3 here now uh, this table will be part of how many sub tables 1 2 3 4 so 4 times this 10 minus 3 will be part of that right so what do we do 10 minus minus 3 is the difference into this so 10 plus 3 is what minus into minus is plus it is 13 into 4 13 into 4 is how much it is uh, 52 right now this is done now we have to fill one more if minimum is already done we have to take the second minimum what is the second minimum that is 7 right and 10 minus 7 is how much that is 3 okay now 3 also we did that is 10 minus 3 is as uh, 10 minus 7 is 3 into how many times it will run it will run only one time 3 into 1 now see 52 plus 3 that is 55 but the answer is 64 right how this is not possible here you have to check one thing we kept max minimum is also there second minimum also there but this doesn't make sense right what happens if it is minimum will fix but max and second max can also come right so for example i'll show you in this case so we thought that would be correct but that was wrong now let's see minus three so wherever we are taking the maximum number of columns present we take maximum number of side that is 10 here and what is the second max that is 9 now let's try to do the same thing this is 10 minus minus 3 is 3 that is uh, 10 plus 3 is 13 into 4 we are getting the same 52 okay plus what is 9 minus minus 3 is 10 11 12 okay you add this one this one this one we got 1 2 3 4 and that 4 we got and minus 3 comma 9 1 right so 52 plus 2 is what 4 64 64 is the answer what did we do here minimum we kept here minimum we kept here maximum and second max are the supporting values now let's see one more example here this is three rows and two columns instead of keeping minimum here let's for a change keep maximum so what is the maximum value here maximum value is this now which row or column exceeds many number of times there we need to keep the minimum value that is here we can keep the minimum value and then if minimum is there we will keep the second minimum here that is minus 3. Now this will be invoked how many times 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 into what is 8 minus minus 7 that is 7 plus 7 is 14 and this is 15. So what is 15 into 4 is 60 that's done. Now this row is remaining right 8 minus 3 so 8 minus minus 3 is uh, 9 10 11 so that is 11 60 plus 11 is 71 so you got 71 now you saw both conditions here you keep minimum keep the maximum and second maximum or it can be the case that you keep maximum it can be minimum and second minimum where you have to keep the minimum is where you have maximum number of rows or maximum number of columns are there where you have sorry where you have to keep the minimum is uh, if you keep maximum here and where you have to keep minimum is where there is maximum number of rows or maximum number of columns and if you keep minimum here where you have to keep the maximum number is you have to keep where there are maximum number of rows or maximum number of columns so i hope i make sense now now let's see the code on how it is coded so first thing first thing first is we'll take all the input here so how many numbers are there there are n by m numbers so we kept the limit as n by m and uh, why are we sorting here so there are things right we need second largest second largest minimum second minimum smallest and second smallest so there are four numbers we don't want to try everything once we sort it and n log n also passes according to the constraints so we sort it first two numbers will be uh, v of 0 will be the smallest v of 1 the second number will be the second smallest last one v of n into m minus 1 will be the largest and v of n into m minus 2 will be the second largest now we have all the four numbers what if if n is greater than m let's consider this example okay this is n is greater than m 
So n is greater than m. What did I tell you? That is large minus small. We don't have to consider where we fix and all. We take a large minus small value into n minus m. Why did we keep n minus one here? I'll tell you. So this is uh, n is large, right? So if I keep uh, large here, and if I keep small here, how many times it will come? One, two, three, four. So four times n rows are there. Okay, this will be part. So if n is five, n is five. Four times this will be part on the first column alone. Like that we have four columns, right? So we need to do for one. Two, three, and four. So the single column should be multiplied with all the columns here. So that's why we kept n minus one into m. That's done. Now we this is having the smallest number of columns, right? We kept small. Now this should be second smallest, right? This should be second smallest. If this is second smallest, how many times it will come? Large minus second small. One, two, three. This is nothing but m minus one. So this is one possibility. As I told earlier. There can be one more possibility that is coming. So large minus small into n minus one into m you got. Then what if it is second largest minus smallest? That also can come, right? So I can just show you what do I mean by that. So here large we kept small and second small can come. Here what I'm doing is small I'm keeping. So largest can come here and second largest can come on the place where there are smaller number of columns or smaller number of rows. In this case, large minus small is same n minus one into m all the columns, and second largest will be m minus one. So you got two combinations here. So out of these two, answer and answer one, whichever is larger, you just print that answer. Now you take answer one, similar to this, same exactly. Instead of keeping small here, right, large minus small, you keep large here first. And where should we keep small? Small should be on the side of uh, the largest number of columns or largest number of rows. You keep small here and second smallest. So here, uh, this is m, right? So large minus small into m minus one into n times one, two, three, four. N times you need to do m minus one uh, difference. Similarly, instead of doing that, you also have to do small here. You keep large here and second large here. Do the same thing again. That is n minus one time. That is here it will go like uh, one, two, three, four. So you have two possibilities here. So whatever be it answer and answer one, you have two things that is got, you got it. So out of this, what is the maximum value? You just need to print it. So I hope I made sense. So again, like uh, they will give you a table. You will get all the numbers you need to populate in the table in such a way that when you create, when you are able to generate all the sub tables, you need to find the minimum and maximum difference from that and uh, take the sum of all the minimum minus ma maximum minus minimum across all the sub tables such that it should be maximum so what we did is we understood that there are only two cells that is having uh, that is coming all the time so i am not computing for everything that two cells i'll take and all the sub number of sub tables i'll count and just compute it directly so i'll do for fixing smallest and largest second largest and i'll do for largest smallest and second smallest so all the possibilities are covered so uh, this is also an accepted solution you can see the submission i'll link it to the description and that's all guys so if you like the video please click the please comment down your thoughts and if you have any doubt also please uh, reach out to me thank you